Good morning, everyone. This is Kosal, also known as Marventus. Welcome back to Marv TV. We are back in the amazing, the wonderful, the wild world of Warcraft. Yes, if you've been following this channel for the last few years, you'll know that I'm a fairly right, yes, heavy World of Warcraft player for the first six years of its life, but haven't really played in the last couple of years. And I've just been doing a couple of newbie guides here and there for people who are coming into World of Warcraft for the first time. Which, believe it or not, people still are. The subscriber base of World of Warcraft is still in the millions and it's by far and away the biggest massively multiplayer success ever still. One of the new additions that are coming up with the upcoming uh, expansion, Worlds of Draenor, is that you can now pay to get a level 90 character. If you pre-order the Worlds of Draenor expansion, you'll get a level 90 upgrade for free. But otherwise, you're going to have to pay for an upgrade. So this video is going to be all about what that's about. What do you get? I know that you guys are not going to be interested in shelling out the money to get the upgrade without actually knowing what you're actually going to get for it. So let's just go through the process. I've logged into World of Warcraft now. I have my character pool right here. I'm going to upgrade Marvander, my level 70 warrior. Now the way it works is you go into the shop. Let's select some services. The level 90 character boost, there it is, 40 pounds. Four zero, 40 pounds, which is pretty much the cost of a PC title, if you will, or a console game title. So the question is, is this worth the money? That's a fairly expensive amount of money. But let's face it, if you're new to World of Warcraft, you're not going to be sitting there for three months trying to level your guy to 90. And if you've got a whole bunch of alts like I do that you've played over time that haven't quite hit the top level mark, you're not going to be bothered to level these guys up either. So it may actually, if you look at it from a time to value perspective, be completely worth it. So let's see what you get though. Let's see what you get. We're about to pay £40. Blah, blah, blah. Level 90 character services purchased will be accessible to the character select screen when processing is complete. It'll be charged to my PayPal, which is fine. I agree. Let's pay. And my password, of course you guys are not going to be able to see any of that unless you have magical powers. And if you do, by all means, guess my password in the comments below. If you get it right, I will give you a, I will send good karma your way. Yes, I will. Okay, I'm done. It's processed. What happened? There it is. My character boost is now available up here in the top right hand corner, right here. I'm, I don't know whether I need to click that first, but I'm going to go ahead and select Marvander just in case. I'm going to hit my level 90 boost. Choose your character on the right. I'm going to click Marvander. I have chosen him. Choose my specialization. Now, as it happens, I'm leveling. I've been a protection warrior for quite some time. But of course, when the expansion starts, I'm not going to be starting out tanking. So let's see, I do like arms, do I like Fury? Mm. Let's go with Fury Warrior. And I can always add protection on later on. So I hit next, I am ready. Now this thing right here, you'll notice that I've got a bonus to my alchemy, herbalism and first aid. If you level up a character that is at least level 60, you will then get an automatic maxed out upgrade to all of your primary skills. If on the other hand you're leveling a character below level 60, you will not get this upgrade to your main skills. So whereas it is well worth it to level up a below 60 character to 90, you are going to have to level up all of your primary skills. Having said that, let's hit the level up button. Yes, let's level this puppy up. Let's log in. Oh, ho! oh, ho! there he is, my level 90 guy. You'll notice items have arrived, armor has arrived. Let's enter the world. Let's take a look at what has shown up in the way of items. Tra -la -li -la -da -da. It's an absolutely blazingly beautiful day here, by the way. I am in the countryside of the United Kingdom in England, and the sun is shining. Here we are, Marvander. Man, he's looking snazzy. He's looking snazzy. He's got some new armor that's arrived. Let's take a look at his packs in just a second. So he's got new armor. You'll notice that I had a backpack full of stuff before. 
it's all gone but not to worry it hasn't disappeared all of your previous gear will be in your mailbox which we will take take a look at in a moment but he has got a full suit of level applicable green armor as you can see along with some level applicable green weapons he has been leveled up nicely to level 90. if we take a look at the professions uh, where are my professions? Character info? No, we want spellbook and abilities, professions. Uh, my alchemy and herbalism have both been leveled up to Zen Master status, and I've still got to level up my sec. Oh, along with first aid as well. My my uh, my secondary profession, cooking, has not been auto leveled up. That I will have to do by myself. So it's just the primary ones you get leveled up. Your core abilities are where based on which profession you you pick. In my case, it was fury. And there's a little tab to tell you what's changed since level uh, since you previously logged on this character. A nice little addition from Blizzard here. Every single time it does a major patch upgrade, there is a what's changed tab to tell you all about it. Now, you've automatically been placed in the Summer Terrace in the new level 90 zone, which is where you would value the four wins. In, because I didn't level this guy up normally, all of my maps in this area have not yet been uh, viewed and I have done none of these quests. So I could technically go back and redo all the quests if I wanted to. But let's see what's happened to my mailbox. So, you will have a bunch of mail labeled character boost. In each of these, you'll have all the items you once had before, and then you can simply remove and do with what you like, or you can simply delete them. If you're getting item right spastic about things and you simply cannot be bothered anymore, you can simply just delete a lot of them and call it a day. That's entirely up to you. I've also got a couple of uh, uh, items here that you may not have. They are specific. Oh, hang on. Low Walker Cho. This one actually is what you get from Low Walker Cho for having hit level 90 by questing. And then, which we haven't done, of course, but the, uh, the, uh, the boost has given me a, the, an automatic upgrade to that. Along with this. So there we have it. The character boost and how it works. Now, the question is, you boosted up your character. What the hell do you do? Well, everything, I guess. It's pretty much up to you depending on what you want to do. There are plenty of quests. And I, I did level up my main character to level 90 by questing in this zone. This is one of the most fun questing uh, expansions that we have had ever for World of Warcraft. It was incredibly enjoyable. If you have not done the quests, it's well worth doing the quest. And now that you are max leveled, you will get max gold for each of these quests as well. Which means between now and the time your expand the new expansion comes out, you will make a small fortune in gold. Is it worth doing the raids and doing item grinds? Probably not, because all of the epics that you will get doing your item grind will be pretty useless the second the uh, the expansion comes out. So if you are going to be doing any item grinding and raiding, it'll just be for the experience. It'll just be for fun. You can do it if you want to. Otherwise, you can go to any of the daily hub quest zones and simply quest there for gold and, uh, and, 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 and whatever advances that you want to do or focus on your professions if you like. And figure out how you spend the time between now and, your ex and the Worlds of Draenor expansion coming out any way you want. So there we have it, folks. I hope this instructional video has been useful to those of you who are considering paying for the level, to nine, level 90 boost. I do feel that it's worth it at the end of the day, especially if you've got a lot of characters and you can't be bothered to level them up but would like them to be level 90 when the expansion hits. This is an extremely cost-effective way of doing it. So until next time, folks, peace out and enjoy the gaming.